Welcome back to JS Urban Adventures. Today, on a brand new episode of Not So Hobo Cafe, I'm going to be making a new recipe that I've never tried before, that I've learned a lot about over the last couple days looking into it, and I've just got a craving for it. I've never had it though, so I don't even know if it's going to be good. But today, I'm going to be cooking up some liver and onions. So, check it out guys. We got to go to the store and get some ingredients. Roll the intro. Money you ain't supposed to make you. You supposed to make the money. People be thinking they made you cause they making the money. We just talk about money, your money, your money, your money, your more money. But really though, folks be so broke, they should set up a GoFundMe. <laughs> but money don't save nobody. Money don't save nobody. Money don't All right, we're at Lucky's. Nobody. We're gonna pick up a few ingredients we need for the liver and onions meal. We already got onions. I got some white rice I'm gonna cook up. And salt and pepper, we got that. I need to get a little bit of well, I'll just show you when we get in here. For now, I forgot my bandana, so Shane, hold this for a second. I'm gonna make a, a dread mask. I wanna look like Scorpion and Sub Zero, too. But I don't think they will. Said I would live for the money and even worse die for respect. To die for respect is dumber than someone who died for a check. Ma'am, money ain't supposed to make you. You supposed to make the money. Alright, unfortunately there's no beef liver, but there is pork liver. So I guess we're gonna do pork liver. And my phone's almost out of battery. Pork fat. Pork it's just fat. Pork fat. Yeah, you just render it it's down and like, make grease. Like bacon. We gotta get some cayenne, some olive oil, some butter, and we got the rest. So next time you see us, we'll be at home. The phone's almost dead. We're gonna be going with pork liver. Just because I got my mind set on liver, I found out they have heart here for three dollars. So that'll be another video. We'll make some beef heart. They got tongue, which looks nasty. They got cheek, which this one cheek looks really nasty. Look at that. I don't know about all that. I will try some heart though and get some pork liver. So grab that pork liver, Shane. How much is that? It's only three bucks. Alright, see you at home. We'll cook this up. Alright guys, we're here in the kitchen. Got the ingredients from Lucky's. So I called this a not so hobo cafe because my old hobo cafe videos we were cooking on the streets now we got a kitchen but still a really cheap meal mostly a lot of this stuff was was actually donated to the by the food bank they leave boxes of food downstairs but uh you know just some white rice and butter we got olive oil we got some gravy to cook up this is some uh like sea salt it came in a little packet i might use that we got pepper salt uh, the recipe I found called for cayenne, but I could not find cayenne at Lucky, so we just got chili powder and onion, of course. And then the piece de resistance is the liver. So, kind of sad. They didn't have beef liver, so I got pork liver. This stuff looks really gross. I've never had liver. This is going to be crazy. But I, I've watched some videos on how to cook it. And I've been watching a lot of hunting videos and they always eat the liver. And so I've just been craving liver and wanted some beef liver, but we got pork liver. We're gonna see how it goes with the pork. Let me know in the comments if you've had either or which you like better. But uh, for now, I'm gonna get started prepping this up. All right, so I got four cups of water in this pot. I'm gonna throw it on high and just let it start heating up. We're gonna start our rice first. We're gonna do two cups of water, or two cups of rice to four cups of water. There's two cups of white rice, four cups of water. I'm gonna throw some salt in there, some pepper. Finally, got my thing set so that it's finely ground pepper. A little mix in there in the water and the rice real good. All right, and some butter. Just got some country cup. Why this is going on, I need to be heating up my pan. Try to do this real quick, Gordon Ramsay style. 
I think it said two teaspoons, so we're doubling it, so four teaspoons. But these are, this is a teaspoon, but those are really big, so I'm just gonna do three of those big boys. Butter, Put that off there. All right, once that comes to a boil, we'll take that off. I don't know if I need to strain it. Uh, bring to a boil, turn heat down, cover and let simmer for 15 minutes until all water absorbs. Okay, so we'll stir that up in a little bit. Got this pan heating up. Let your pan get real hot. You're gonna need one onion. And we're gonna cut this into certain uh, slices so we have circles. Get the skin off first. All right, and then we're gonna cut our onion into slices so they're nice and round. Put some oil and butter in the pan. A little bit of oil. Two tablespoons. Two teaspoons, I mean. And we're gonna just throw these round onion pieces right onto the pan. Pop out these middles. Yeah, I eat them like an apple sometimes. We got our onions and our oil in the pan. Do you think that's enough onions or we need more? Uh, yeah, it should be all right. Okay. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on these. Because Gordon Ramsay told me, season every step of the way. We're gonna cook these till they get a nice see-through translucent color. Flipping them over a little bit occasionally. And our rice is getting nice and hot. We're gonna stir that up. All right, I'm actually just gonna start cutting this liver up right now while the onions are going. So, check it out. Pork liver. It looks crazy. It looks like tongue almost. Kinda has that tonguey texture. Dude, there's so much of it in here. I might have to save some. I know I can eat a pound of meat, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna cook these four pieces up. I'm gonna save this piece right here. Uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe I should move off. This pan's way too hot. Those onions are cooking too much. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll just throw it all in. But I need to make these pieces a little more manageable size. This knife is not very good. I'm going to cut them up so they cook faster in smaller pieces. See that? Liver, baby. We're just gonna throw these on top of the onions, season it up. Maybe I'll throw a little seasoning in, uh, you know, on them right now. Some people shred it. sugar to put with the onions to caramelize them a little bit, but I didn't have it. A little bit, or not too much. Stir up this rice a little bit. I'm going to try with another knife. Yeah, that cuts better. All right, so the liver's all cut up, diced up, chunked up, whatever you want to call it. 
Just some more manageable pieces. I'll probably cut that a little smaller too. But rice is starting to boil, so I'm gonna put a lid on that, let it simmer for a while, turn the heat down. And our onions got a little burn on one side because I'm doing other things, but we'll let those go a little longer and we'll throw this in that pan. All right, guys, I got our pieces all salt and peppered up. Our onions are starting to look nice and translucent. We got the heat down on our rice. Oh, I got to make the gravy too. The gravy is simple. It's just a packet of gravy and I got a little cup and I'll put some water in it. So for now, we're going to throw these on here. I'm going to turn this heat up a little bit. Start throwing this liver in here. Almost looks like we need more onions. I'm gonna put some more in there. So we got the, the beef in. I'm gonna throw in the chili pepper. Give it a little spice. And some butter. Up smooth the butter. Mix all that up. Look at that. A little more onion in there. be good we're gonna let that go for a little while oh yeah it's cooking up quick you don't want to let liver get overdone gravy making some gravy mix we whisk in one cup of cold water. Throw that on here. Now we got our gravy going. We got our rice boiled and simmering. Turn it down a little lower. And we got our liver starting to look real nice still red okay we mix that up a little bit I need two hands for a bit while I work on this and then uh, I'll show you when it's a little closer to done all right guys the liver and onions is looking pretty good I don't want to let it get too done the gravy's ready it's just simmering the rice I probably should have started the rice a good bit earlier because the rice is still really watery. I may just uh, strain it out. I'll have to taste it, but we're gonna drop the heat on the on the liver and onions so they don't overcook. While we let that rice firm up a little bit, and then I'm gonna plate all this up, and we're gonna try it out, see how it tastes. All right, I strained out the rice. Now we're gonna go ahead and plate one of these up. Make sure you're in good on the plate, Shane. Okay. We'll do some rice. Yeah, that's real wet rice. A little bit of rice here. I'm gonna grab out a couple pieces of his liver. I'm gonna get one of the big pieces I have my eye on. Set it off to the side so I can taste just the meat with no gravy, no onions, anything like that. Take a couple other big pieces and get some onions in there. Onions on top. A little piece 
some little onions. All right. And then throw some gravy on there. It's bomb diggity. All right. I'll let Hunter and Shane plate up their food. And then we'll taste it. And that'll be the end. Lily, not for you. Not for you. All right, liver and onions. Usually load my food up condiments, but this time I'm just doing the the spices and I tried to make this as as not store bought as possible, but it's all bought at the store, of course. But all right, so it's cooked all the way through. Uh, still bleeding a little bit. Hopefully this little piggy wasn't an alcoholic. <laughs> this is the piece with gravy and everything on it. So I want to taste one piece of just straight meat. Let's see how this is. Let's see, I cooked that one more thoroughly through. Hopefully it's not dry. First time trying liver, unless I've been fed it secretly, I didn't know. like how it looks like it's kind of spongy and mushy you've had liver before both of you guys is that how it tastes that's how it's supposed to taste mm -hmm. I don't know it's different not like I was expecting but it kind of is like what I was expecting because I was expecting something kind of kind of strange tasting you get some of the rice and the onions and stuff the rice is a little over salted, just so you know. <laughs> mm. It works well with the onions. I see why they say liver and onions. They complement each other well. I don't know though. This isn't something I think I would eat regularly. <laughs> you know? Hunter and Shane both said they like liver before they tried it, but a lot of people tell me they don't like liver, so. Get a, you know, the reaction is really good with the gravy and the rice. But alone by itself, it just has kind of a weird texture. Kind of, I don't know. It's not bad, it's just different. Now I kinda wanna try some beef liver. Beef liver tastes a little bit better. Does it have the same like kinda, it's like a rubbery, mushy kinda consistency. It starts out springy and rubbery, and then it starts to get like, like marrow or something, you know? Pretty much the same, but I, I like the taste better. Mm -hmm. Something about just like coming from a cow. Yeah, this does have a porky taste. It tastes kind of like like a ham. That pig sort of flavor. I bet it probably would be better as beef. All right, well, that's the video. I tried it. Tried some liver and onions finally. Shane's got his. Ah! Oh no, I gotta clean that. I just spilled some coffee on my play mat. But. Like the video, comment, share, subscribe. You know, let me know in the comments what sort of weird stuff you've eaten. Give me some ideas. We're gonna try some beef heart. They got beef heart at Lucky's. Cook up some beef heart. And uh, yeah, that's a bit. That's about it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Shane, what do you think? Really last, good. Last, I'm gonna finish eating up this. It's definitely interesting. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a liver fan. Maybe I didn't. Maybe somebody else needs to cook it for me. Cook it a different way. But. I'm glad I made it. 
Might be good deep fried. Deep fried. I've never heard of deep fried. A little bit. Glad I made it. Trying new things. Cooking. Learning to cook. Learning to work with meat. And, you know. Do all that good stuff. So. Everybody. Peace.